What's up, what's up everybody? It's Track Sounds back again. I got another good tutorial today. Today we're gonna talk about punch you in the face with that snare. Let's get into it. So we're gonna get into making those snares and claps really punch through in the mix and slap and all that stuff you're kind of looking for. Uh, I'm gonna show you a logic way, and then I'm also gonna show you Slate Digital plugins that I would prefer to use. You can use them on any DAW, so really dope and can translate anywhere. My question of the day is, what are your favorite mixing plugins? Is it the Waves? Is it the Slate Digital? Is it Ozone? Uh, is it Fab Filter? There's a bunch of them out there, really cool ones all around. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite. I'm always curious what everybody else is using. So I'll show you the beat I was messing with. Pretty dope beat flip unsolved mysteries pretty cool so um first thing i do is i'll pull up this eq that i i mess with it cut out a little low end of it not too much though just a little bit to give the 808 a little more room maybe around 500 there's a nasty frequency probably take that one off they got a little high end too Most snares and stuff and claps that come out now, they're so over, they're, they have so much processing on them already that they most of the time you just need to level them out and make them go straight in the mix. And one of the main keys when mixing is making sure that the snare and clap are directly in the middle. You don't want to pan them off to the side, maybe like some different tricks and stuff for different percussions, but your main snare and clap need to be going right down the middle in the mix with, with no panning to them at all. So a little bit of EQ, add a little compression maybe. I'll go in, go into drums and just do the VCA snare uh, preset. And kind of just show you from there, we'll work around it. So I'll turn down the ratio a little bit. I don't even want too, I don't want too much makeup and I don't want too much compression on it. The tack's pretty good. You always wanna make sure your tack is in the middle. You don't want it too fast because it will squash all your dynamics and that punch you're looking for. Got a limiter over here. I'll turn it down to a negative 0.1 dB to make sure it doesn't go over top and give you a little headroom. And then I'll add another EQ after the compressor just to boost some frequencies. I don't like to cut and boost on the same EQ because I, you know they just don't work. I like to cut all the bad frequencies, compress it a little bit, and then add just a little bit of the good frequencies. Your ear tends to pick up when you add on frequencies, so you wanna do this very subtly and with a wide band. So I added a little bit of 1K, a little 6K. So this is it before. Kind of boomy with the low end, so I'm, you know, clean it. Sound maybe it sound a little thinner right now. But that will help open up the 808 in the mix as well. So now I'll show you the slate digital way that I would do it. Turn them off. This is the snare. So first I have the virtual channel, I add just a little bit to it. This is kind of just a shimmer type of thing. Add a little bit of it to it. I have it on the Brit 4K. I also got the FGS Brit 4K EQ. Add a little bit of 6K, um, kind of like the same did on the other one. And I'll add the FGN EQ. Add a little high to it. A little bit of 1K. Then I'll put the FG stress on it. 
Um, turn up the input some. Turn down the attack a little bit. Turn down the release a little bit. And the output probably some. I pass on. So this is my favorite way to mix for sure is using the Slate Digital plugins. So I'll show you to you without the plugins. Still slaps like it's great, great sample to start with. But here's a new one. So yeah, there's a couple ways to just add some spice onto your snare, um, make it cut through the mix a little more, and add that bounce you're looking for. Till next time, I appreciate you checking it out. Like, comment, subscribe, everything I ask every time because it really does help me. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, signing out. <laughs>